Welcome to Twin Bridge Dairy Goats. We're glad you're here. It's about family, farm, and our girls. We're located in beautiful central Oklahoma where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Share our experiences, what we've learned, what we're still learning. It's about triumphs <laughs> as well as failures. They love me. It's they not love the easiest so thing much. you can do. There are always challenges. But it's the best life for us. I love we you believe love you should learn something every day. We're Follow us on our journey. Person. There's always something going on at the farm. Morning, so come along. This is what happened today. Here we are. Um, I haven't been behind the camera for uh, what, two weeks, I guess. Maybe a week and a half or so. Uh, the last video that Brian posted was a bee video. So that's something that he does himself. And I let him give me a little break. It's Saturday, October 29th, I think, and it's a nice, cool morning here in Oklahoma. We um, have had some rain uh, through the night. Not a lot. I guess I should go check the rain gauge, but I haven't emptied it, so it would probably show all of the rain that we've, we've received over the last week. Just a real quick little uh, shot. I have not walked over to the goat pen yet. I was out here with Brian. Uh, let's see, I guess it's been five or six days. We hatched out some chicks. Uh, you guys know that we have the black astrolorps. They're over there on the, on the side of the uh, little chicken tractor. And we separated them and put them in the aviary. I think I'm saying that right. And I collected their eggs for the, for a month, I think, maybe five weeks. Um, anyways, we hatched out uh, seven or eight this first hatch, and actually the incubator's going again. And I have 12 or 13 in there. But I um, thought I would walk you into the uh, uh, chicken coop and show you the new little chicks. <laughs> oh, don't get out. There they are. Now we did, I also, uh, you know, since I had the uh, black astrolorps, I went ahead and collected, um, you know, just our barnyard mix. Since we do have roosters, you know, all the eggs tend to be fertile. But anyways, look at those little beauties. Little beauties. You so we have... Tasty. Pumpkin oh yeah, I did. I uh, had a pumpkin that I kind of sliced up and laid that around. And <clears throat> pumpkin is um, a really good uh, wormer, natural wormer. And you guys know that I do try to uh, do as much as we can naturally. But anyways, look at all those beauties. We have some uh, green egg layers. We've got some, the astrolorps in there. We have um, Americanas or, yeah, they're not Araconas because um, I'm sure they're not purebreds, but I also have some Rhode Island Reds. Anyways, the chicks are doing fantastic. Oh, there we go, that, that way it doesn't disturb them too much. Chicks are doing fantastic. Um, the black astrolorps, you can, we have a hen over there. Making herself known. The black astrolorps are uh, auto sexing, so I should be able to tell um, roosters, the difference between roosters and hens. But with my busy life, I have not done that yet. But anyways, there you guys go. Chicks. Woohoo. With the price of eggs, um, I'm sure everybody is experiencing the price of eggs. We decided that uh, we are going to run our incubator at one more time before the winter. I've got to close this door. I'm sorry for the jumbling of the camera. We decided that we would go ahead and uh, run our incubator again after these, after the black astrolorp eggs go into lockdown, I will uh, load it again. 
added to the herd. Flock. <laughs> we don't have a herd of chickens. Herd chickens. But look at the little black kitty over there. Just su super comfortable with the chickens and the chickens are very um, tolerant of him, I'll say. Oh, there he goes under the fence. It's a good back scratch. Very thankful for our chickens and um, what they uh, do for us. Something else that we did this week is we have closed the garden. I always look forward to the end of the garden season just because it's a long process. It takes a lot of time, a lot of energy, but at the same time, it kind of makes me sad. It's a uh, catch-22. I'm ready for uh, things to go dormant and go to sleep and take a rest. But at the same time, I'm like, oh, it's kind of sad. I have allowed the goats to come in um, the last week and a half or so and um, eat up whatever uh, survived the freeze. And of course they have um, picked at the apple trees, which is okay. I'm okay. No branches were broke. Um, they've kind of cleaned up the, the, pear the peach tree over there and the grapes. I do have these little sad spaghetti squashes and um, I'm going to try to harvest those spaghetti squash and at least eat them. We, um, I planted those in the hopes that I would get a few before winter. But anyways, we have a little crybaby over here because she's in the pen with Vaughn. And separated from her mama. Those are the last two that I plan on breeding, which they won't be in heat for another uh, three weeks or so. Hey Vaughn, and he's such a good boy. He's being very polite to them and um, very gentle. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Walk you guys over to the pigs and um, check on Belle over there. Okay, friends, here we are at the pig pen. This is the pig pen. These uh, girls are doing fantastic. I, I'm pretty happy with their progress. They're starving, of course. And so, um, I have their dinner, well, not that, the, or their breakfast, actually, and I've got a mix of uh, tomatoes and pumpkins and a little bit of the um, yams, the sweet potatoes that we pulled that didn't make. That was disappointing. But anyways, these girls are going to get their breakfast. Um, the plan is to grow them out until February, but we will continue to monitor how uh, big they are and uh, make that decision as it gets closer. We are in the pen with Lincoln and Belle and Magnolia. And 
Belle is showing signs of being bred. Yay! I'm so excited. Um, I posted on the Facebook page, on our Facebook farm page, about putting her in the pen here with Lincoln. It has been a long year for this girl. If, um, if you guys, some of our longtime subscribers that's been with us for a while know Belle's um, history and um, all the things that she's had to deal with this year. For any of our new subscribers, I will give you just a little insight to uh, Belle. In um, January of 2022, she um, kitted with <laughs> two preemies. Uh, they were about six to ten days early and um, really struggled. We were in the middle of an ice storm. And the temperatures were absolutely <laughs> freezing. And they were house goats. Belle was... Um, I really wasn't even positive that she was in kid. Uh, she never bagged up. And so I was not really expecting her to kid and happened to be in the pen and watched her contracting and brought her into the um into the back of the barn and she proceeded to have two little preemies and um you guys go back and watch those videos i think one was three pounds and one was uh two pounds it was um, a really scary, um, nerve-wracking experience. I had never dealt with anything like that, and uh, she was super sick, super sick. We, um, and so this year, we have been battling to get her health um, improved, and finally, finally, I felt comfortable enough to... Um, breed her to Lincoln and that's why she's in the pen. I am so looking forward to this. Oh yeah, you pushed on it enough to open it a little bit, didn't you buddy? I am so looking forward to this pairing. Excited to see uh, what they produce. Um, Belle is an F7 purebred mini Nubian and Lincoln is an F5. So their kids will be F6s. If any of my um, subscribers or viewers are interested, we do have a, a reservation list on our website. That website is twinbridgefarm.net. You can see all of the goats, their pedigrees, their um, the pairings, what we expect out of each uh, kidding. And it's... Uh, getting exciting. Lincoln is a stinky mess. Mess. I really should get out here and kind of give him a bath. My coat is tasty. Quit. Is it? Is it? Is it tasty? <laughs> Anyways, super excited. Little Magnolia here is also in the pen with Lincoln and will be bred when she comes into heat. Uh, for, let's see, this these, these kids will be late March, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I got to get down to the dough pen. Loves his tractor for sure. These girls are starving. I come out, uh, well, it takes me about three days, two to three days, to clip hoofs 
check everybody out selenium make sure they're all healthy and i did that um over the last two days checked for mantra scores oh my goodness these girls act like they're starving all the time we decided to go ahead and move the mineral uh, bucket to can you push it Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can get this lid on my wagon. I'm not gonna be able to do it one-handed for sure. So, okay, got it done. Brian's got the mineral feeder. I've got the lid and more hay and a little bit of alfalfa in my dish to get them preoccupied. Move, girls. Oh, I don't know that this is going to work too good. Watch it, girls. Watch it, girls. And we'll see. Here we go. Come on, Hope. Come on, Hope. Come on, Daisy. Get out of the way. You're going to get the boot. Okay, so what I was saying earlier is I've checked everybody for Fomantia scores and all of them look really good. Except for Nutmeg up there and that is why she is up there in the birthing stall pen with uh, the weather. Is She is still struggling with a bout of worms and um, trying to get her over that hump. Come on girls. It's like Miss Mulan up there knows what's going to happen and Jasmine and they're like, mm, I don't want to go to that pen. I don't want to go to that pen. I don't like this pen. Um, it, it really just doesn't matter, honey, wherever you want to put it. But anyways, they're going to be in this pen for a while. The um, shelter is big enough for all of them. Contrary to the shelter up there. Oh, there I lost it. Alrighty. Turn you guys off and help Brian get this all set up. Okay, friends. We, oh, that looked pretty good. We uh, got the hay feeders down here and put in and filled and the goat girlies are munching down, chowing down. Brian came in, we've needed to clean around their um, hay feeders and just general cleanup, especially with all the rain. And so he came in and he scraped around their hay feeders and clean that all up and now he's doing it up here in this pen I have been wanting to get out here and clean this yard up and it's always a good idea to do rotational uh, pasturing for your goats well all of your animals really but um, we did not do that don't feel like we had the room to do that but finally just bit the bullet and uh, locked them down there and I'm going to keep them out of this pen. Let this rest for pretty close to kidding season, probably. And open it back up. And the same with the birthing stall pens. We're going to uh, do the same up there. But I wanted Nutmeg to have the opportunity to um, get to feeling better. And uh, before I put her back in the pen with the so Brian is just scraping and pulling off all the spent hay and adding it to our compost pile over there for the garden for next year. 
the scraper's working pretty good. I did tell him, I wonder if a leaf um, catcher would work in here on the back of our lawnmower for all the goat berries. We've been trying to keep our eye out for something like that. Might be a nice little imp implement to um, have on hand. The longer we um, have the goats, the more things that we think we need to make it a little easier for us to be able to maintain them. out here and watch Brian and probably get my rake and go in and clean out that stall or that birthing area or that I am going to stand out here and um, watch Brian a little bit longer probably get my rake and clean out the enclosure right there so he can add all that to the compost pile too um, just a little FYI, after we're done out here, we are going inside and gonna try to work with the loofah. Uh, it's ready, There's, I've got several that are dry and ready to peel, and I think I'm going to do some experimenting this afternoon with that. So yeah, you guys be watching for that next video to come out um, with the loofah. I'm kind of excited about it. We peeled a couple of them this morning, like I said, and um, I have some ideas uh, for that. You guys can um, check out our Etsy page. That's where I'll be posting uh, the soap and the loofahs, uh, the jellies that we have done. I've got jalapeno and um, possibly some peach jalapeno that's going to be uh, posted on our Etsy page for sale. Those make fantastic little Christmas gifts uh, for that hard to buy person. The, um, the jalapeno jelly is uh, super popular with our family and friends. And flip you around so you can see Brian working on his tractor, which he loves. He's said it plenty of times. Anyways, you guys really appreciate you watching and um, staying with us and commenting and uh, your well wishes. So we will go ahead and um, wrap up the video here. Hopefully we'll uh, get this finished in the next uh, 30 minutes or so. <laughs> of course, Brian likes to get on his tractor and then he just keeps working. But um, I have things I want to do in the house today. so. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers. We really appreciate you guys following along and subscribing to the channel. Uh, enjoy watching. Enjoy watching. Uh, there's lots of videos over this last year. Go back and watch some of those videos about Belle and um, see where she was in January and then uh, how she looks now. She She's improved so much and I am just super pleased from going... Um, to a, a dough that I really thought we wouldn't have uh, much longer in January to uh, looking at her right now. She's healthy, She's uh, her eyes are bright and um, doing, doing really well. I would like to see her gain just a little bit more weight, but that'll come, that'll come. Um, anyway, thank you guys, thanks for watching, thanks for following along. Um, chat later.